morning everybody welcome to PhD Queen I just thought I'd film the morning walk that I'm having and take you on a beautiful sunrise in Abu Dhabi July has been a month of intense writing reviewing of drafts and a focus on chapter 2 of my thesis which is the review of the literature so what happens uh, before one starts to write is that you read extensively. And this reading involves reading around your topic, um, within your topic and even other disciplines that cross over. Uh, for example, I'm an education doctoral student, but there are lots of overlaps with sociology and anthropology, uh, other disciplines that cross over into my um, area of writing. So it's a very multidisciplinary approach at this period when you are reviewing the literature uh, but at the same time uh, you are absorbed with finding a gap in this literature something that hasn't been done before something completely novel uh, but that also rests on the shoulders of previous theorists sometimes in scientific research most often um, brand new discoveries can be made or brand new ideas can be put out there in a thesis. However, in more qualitative social studies, um, one rests one's theory or um, the contribution to the body of knowledge on the shoulders of giants. And one of the giants that I rest my thesis on is the French sociologist, Pierre Bourdieu. Now, you, if you know me, you would know that I do love a lot of things French, French food, French fashion. So I'm really glad that something French has creeped up into my thesis. However, uh, Pierre Bourdieu was a French sociologist that was and still does impact heavily on most social scientists and their thinking. He has influenced um, the literary critics, he's influenced um, anthropologists, um, ethnographers like myself, and basically um, philosophers around the world um, have been influenced very heavily uh, by Pierre Bourdieu, whose focus is on class, and culture and he came up with a very very um, important concept that is used in my thesis which is the concept of cultural capital or in other words if I could put this in plain English um, in the material world we have money or economics but Pierre Bourdieu, unlike his predecessor Karl Marx, um, aims at telling us or, or bringing to light uh, the fact that we have a different form of wealth in the currency of culture, in the currency of um, our beliefs, our values, our attitudes. These are all forms of currency for Pierre Bourdieu. And the human being can be understood through other means, class um, divisions and inequalities in society uh, can be understood by these various different currencies, not just economic currency or wealth in the form of money or possessions as his predecessor Karl Marx had endeavoured to explain inequality. Pierre Bourdieu was born in Denguin in southern France and he came from very humble origin. Uh, his father was a postal worker who married Marie Claire in 1962 and they had three sons. Although it must be said that Pierre Bourdieu reached dizzy heights of success later on in his life, it is a well-known fact that he wished to stay modest 
and close to people from his own background. Nous donnons par présupposé comme compris et préalablement codé. Et en fait, l'expérience par exemple de l'ethnologue nous rappelle que si je puis employer l'expression. Perhaps one of the best known uh, works that Pierre Bourdieu is known for. Uh, is his ethnographic research in Algeria during his military years. So for Bourdieu, theories of class um, are all about our tastes in food, in art, in music. All these Bourdieu found to be currencies or cultural capital. So the question is, what has this got to do with my thesis? Well, my thesis looks at female education in the UAE and how it has changed over the years and how this education might in fact be an imposition. And my task is to look at how the Emirati female Bedouin learner navigates this new modern Western education that is almost imposed upon her. And there ends my vlog for today.